Hello and good day. Welcome to our video channel, God's Promises. And today's video will be Numbers chapter 20. Let's get started now. Numbers chapter 20 continues the journey of the Israelites through the wilderness after leaving Egypt. The chapter begins with the death of Miriam, Moses' sister, and moves on to the people complaining about the lack of water. Moses and Aaron turn to the Lord, who instructs them to speak to a rock to bring forth water for the people. However Moses, frustrated by the people's constant complaints, strikes the rock twice with his staff, causing water to gush forth. The Lord was displeased with Moses and Aaron for their lack of faith and disobedience. He tells them that they will not be able to lead the people into the promised land. The incident serves as a reminder that the leaders of God's people are held to a high standard and are expected to obey God's commands completely. The story of Moses striking the rock also has significant symbolic meaning. The rock is seen as a representation of Christ, who was struck once for the sins of humanity. The fact that Moses struck the rock twice is interpreted as a lack of faith in Christ's sacrifice being sufficient for the forgiveness of sins. The story also teaches us about the power of our words and actions. Moses' frustration and anger led him to act in disobedience, and his actions had consequences not only for himself but for the entire community. We are reminded to be careful with our words and actions, especially in positions of leadership. Additionally, the story emphasizes the importance of trusting in God's provision. The Israelites had witnessed numerous miracles and provisions from God throughout their journey, yet they still complained and doubted when faced with a new challenge. As followers of God, we are called to trust in His provision even when it seems impossible or unlikely. In conclusion, Numbers chapter 20 teaches us about the consequences of disobedience and the importance of trust in God's provision. It also reminds us of the power of our words and actions and the high standard to which leaders are held. As we journey through life, we must remember to trust in God's provision, obey His commands, and act with wisdom and self-control. Thank you for visiting us today. Please share with us your favorite Bible chapter below in the comments section. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It really does help our channel grow. Looking forward to see you back here for our next video. Always take good care.